Today, I bring you the 30 best glove gun combos that I've made in CS2. I'm mainly focused on making sure the colors have a great match and there's a common theme. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. First up, we have Scarlet Shams with the Empress. Great color match between the dark and light shades of red. Both skins have a royal theme in their design and it's one of the best combos for this price range. Another cheap combo is Razan the Red with the Op Wildfire. The black inner palms have a great match with the front side of the gun and the inspect looks great. Even the seam lines match up with the accents on the gun. The absolute best glove gun combo in the game is Superconductors with the AK Vulcan. It's perfect in every aspect, the colors, the hexagonal rubber texture, the color layout, and it has a nice futuristic feel to it. Back to a cheaper combo, we have Overtakes with a Golden Coil. The yellows have a similar hue, and the base color of this M4 actually has a similar color to the gloves and bright lighting. Another huge bonus, it's a sub $200 combo. The best budget combo in the game has to be Yellow Banded with a Phantom Disruptor. The colors and patterns work so well together that it looks like the pattern is coming off of the gun, onto the gloves, in idle, and it's the cheapest combo at $100. Another gorgeous high tier combo is Tiger Strike with a Desert Hydra. What really makes this combo pop is the fingertips having white accents, which makes a nice contrast between the scope and the gloves. Plus, both Idle and Inspect looks incredible. Spearmints work with just about everything, but one of the most underrated combos includes the Bullet Rain. Both skins have a base minty color, and the stripe on the back of the gloves matches the red that we see on the barrel, accents, and stock. Next up, we have a jungle-themed combo using Queen Jags and the Pantera Onsa. The inner palms have a nice match between the base AK color and the Jaguar print on the back of the gloves makes this combo even better. For blue, we have Fade Gloves and the Emperor. To make this work, use a max yellow fade pattern where the cuffs turn yellow, and that makes the idle position have a really nice match. You can even pick between having a better idle or inspect depending on which hand has the max yellow. If you would like to buy any of these skins, make sure to check out today's sponsor, which is GamerPay. GamerPay is a player-to-player -player trading site where you can buy and sell skins securely with excellent reviews on Trustpilot. There's a huge variety of knives for all price ranges, and it's very easy to find exact patterns, floats, and finishes at prices significantly cheaper than the Steam market. There's no buying fee and a 3% selling fee, so if you guys want to check it out, you can use my link in the description for a free $5 bonus. In CSGO, Hedge Maze and Hydra was the best combo. In CS2, this combo got nerfed a bit, but it still looks incredible. The Hydra is one of the only skins in the game that can work with the neon green on these gloves, and obviously this combo is expensive, but it stands out a ton in game. If you use the Galil, you can pair amphibious gloves with the Rocket Pop. There's a nice tritone colorway between blue, white, and red. The white cuffs make the idle position pop, and you can use white stickers to make this combo even better. Using the new Randy Rush, you can pair it with slingshots for a banger combo. These gloves fit the bomber aesthetic that we see on the gun, and the colors match up great. The palms have a camo pattern that we see on the gun as well. I tested every pink gun with vices, and the definitive best option was the Neon Rider. I know it's a popular combo, but I still have to mention it, especially since Idol has such a great match between the blue cuffs and the pulse line on this AK. For those who checked out the stream, you'll recognize the field agent gloves with the inheritance. Perfect color match between the blues and the gloves having white accents is a nice bonus. There is bright yellow on the fingers, but it's barely visible, so it's not a big deal. Diamondbacks with snake camo is a sleeper pick. Both have a snakeskin theme and the same colors, so even with dull colors, this combo stands out. Just keep in mind, this op is actually pretty expensive. Back to a budget combo, we have booms with the op duality. The colors are a bit different, but the boom pattern works great with the engravings on the op and it's a nice royal vibe. Plus, the pink seams match the color on the spider lilies. Most people use the XM for black ties, but I actually prefer the op neo noir. The black on white color scheme still works here, but we have extra colors to make the combo stand out even more. Foundations with Azimov skins is a classic combo, but after testing every single skin, the op definitely stands out the most. Specifically on the inspect, the right hand has orange outlines that really make this combo pop, but you can pick any Azimov skin that you like. I'll be honest, I don't really like this AK, but when I saw this combo, I was very impressed. For a T-side loadout, Slaughters with the X-Ray goes crazy. They both have a deep red color that you only see on a handful of skins in CS2. Nox are neutral, so they work with just about everything. However, the Edgelord stands out, mainly in the silhouette, the deep black color, but also the snake etching that matches the Icarus logo on the strap of the gloves. Pals with the player 2 is the perfect thematic match. Since both have this comic book style and the orange accents really pop on idle, one of the rare combos that matches on literally every level without a crazy price tag. Pandoras work with a lot of skins, but my favorite has to be the Oni Taiji. The purple on red is a nice contrast, but it also works thematically since the inner palm has a demon pattern, which fits the demon slaying theme of this op. Arids look great with Dragon Lords, but for a cheaper alternative, you can use the Ramsey's Reach. You'll get plenty of playtime with a primary pistol, and the colors match on both the idle and inspect animations. 
Pandoras are super expensive, but Imperial Plaid is much cheaper and is the perfect choice for the Galil Phoenix Black Light. I do recommend a Phoenix pattern if you can find one, but keep in mind they are expensive. Using the Wildwood, you can pair it with Buckshots for a forest-themed combo. For the best fit, I do recommend using a pattern with lots of leaves on the Mag 7, and it's a combo that makes great use of the green inner palms. Marble Fate gloves are tricky, but the best fit that I could find was the Hyper Beast, specifically on the op where a lot of the skin has pink and red hues to match the inner palm and the band strap on these gloves. For those that enjoy rustic green loadouts, Forest DD Pad goes great with a flashback M4A1S. The greens literally have a perfect match, and you can pick whatever float you want, it's gonna work regardless. Usually people pair big games with a fuel injector, but I actually prefer the bus kill. I think the yellows match a bit closer, and idle looks really clean with the wrist straps being gray on these gloves. If you like the color cyan, overprints with a malachite is a great choice. It's a cheap combo that's incredibly vibrant, and I do recommend the arrow pattern on the gloves for the best match, one of the most colorful combos on the list. For the last combo, we have Omegas and the M4 Coalition. There's a black and yellow color scheme on both skins, but the inspect looks great since Omegas have the same triangle pattern that we see throughout the whole gun. So that's pretty much it for this video. For those that made it all the way through, I really appreciate you guys. Please consider subbing to the channel if you enjoy this type of content, and see you in the next one. Peace out everyone.